Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear. And I am a reader and a writer. And I am back to talk about how I did on the reading challenges I announced I was going to be doing for 2023. There are three main challenges that I mentioned that I was doing, and I am going to talk about those three in this video. I'll have chapters down below, so if you want to hear more about one than the other, you can do that. But I will be talking about my 40 before 40, which is technically ongoing because I'm not 40 yet. Then I have a 2000 to 2023 challenge, and then my buzzword-a-thon for 2023. Those are the three challenges I will be speaking about. So starting with my 40 before 40, out of those books, I have read one. The one I have read is The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams, and then I DNF'd The Great Gatsby. Again, this challenge is not done, but I won't be completing all 40, I know, before my birthday. I know me. It, it, it's not going to happen. But hopefully I'll get one or two more read, and then I will probably do a 50 before 50, which will make it a little bit easier because I'll have 10 years to complete versus a year and some months. So then going on to my 2000 to 2023 reading challenge, this one, the goal was to read one book for each year. And I had picked specific books for this challenge. Out of the 24 books that I had on the list, I have read four of them. And I have started two of them. So the ones I finished was Untethered Sky by Fonda Lee for year 2023. Delicious in Dungeon Volume 7 by Ryoko Kui. That was for year 2019. Fence Volume 1 by C.S. Packett for year 2018, and Royal Street by Suzanne Johnson, which was for year 2012. The two that I started, but just did not finish, was Saint's Death's Daughter by C.S.E. Cooney for year 2022, and The Souls of China by Ian Johnson, which was for year 2017. I know that I will continue to read the two that I have started. I have indeed effed him. They just had to go back to the library. Thanks to me being a mood reader, I don't always finish things when I mean to. Now, if we looked at our cob pile, I am sure that I could probably insert some others into these years. But again, I had specified specific ones, so I'm kind of going with that list. And then, to talk about my buzzword-a-thon. This one, I'll, I am going to go through the months a little bit more, because I did better on this one. Not perfect, but better. So for January, the prompt was life or death. I chose an, an unnatural life by Aaron K. Wagner because I was still trying to do as much sci-fi for this list as I could. For February, the prompt was action words, a verb or action words. I had chosen Where It Rains in Color by Denise Crittenden and I did not read it. For March, the word was secret, and I had chosen The Secret Chapter by Genevieve Cogman, and I did not read it. For April, the prompt was emotions, and I did read The Alchemy of Sorrows. For May, the prompt was flavors, seasoning, herbs. I had chosen Bitter Blood by Zara Hoffman. It was book two in her sci-fi romance trilogy. I started book one and DNF'd it, so I didn't read Bitter Blood either. June, the prompt was the word other, and I chose The Art of Space Travel and Other Stories by Nina Allen. This is also a collection of short stories. And after reading the first two, I DNF'd the collection. July, the prompt was weather, and for this I chose The Ice Line by Kathleen O'Neill Gear. And after reading the first couple chapters, I DNF'd it. August was Body Parts. I had chosen Our Missing Hearts by Celeste Ning, and I did not read it. September, the prompt was Game Related Words, and for that I chose Capture the Sun by Jesse Mihalik, because Capture the Sun kind of reminded me of Capture the Flag, which is a 
game I had fun playing with as a kid, and I did read this one. For October, the prompt was magic and other words, and this one was like basically impossible to find a sci-fi for, but I did choose for this one City of Broken Magic by Mira Bolander and loved it. For November, the prompt was the word good, and this one I chose Goodbye to the Sun by Jonathan Never, and then ended up DNFing it. So I did pass on Goodbye to the Sun to a fellow booktuber who I know likes reading science fiction. Be not because I think that Goodbye to the Sun is bad. The reason why I DNF'd it was because of the motivations of the characters. It wasn't something that was interesting to me, but I think that might work better for this other booktuber. And for December, I chose sound-related words and chose the book The Ballad of Perilous Graves by Alex Jennings. And my library's copy, I guess, had gone missing because I have not received it from the library. Still. So probably will not get this one read. That is how I've done on my challenges, which haven't been great. So really, I will be narrowing my challenges for the next month, but that is something I will be talking about in my next video. If you have any thoughts or questions, leave me a comment down below, please. Thank you and have a great day.